We'll begin the news tonight in Delta State where a teacher and a member of a local vigilante group have been killed in the Ford abduction there. Armed men suspected to be herdsmen had attacked a school in an attempt to kidnap the principal, his vice and other teachers. Quick intervention averted the incident but not without a price. Ike Namichi tells us more. We were outside playing, then the I ring the bed, I should go inside. Now I went inside, and I opened my bag to bring out the food that I want to eat. I saw teachers running, teachers and students running. Then I said we should start running, and I left my bag inside the school and ran away. Still in shock, a student of Asagba Mist Secondary School recounts the events that took the life of a teacher in her school and a member of the local vigilante group whose bravery kept in the release of the principal, vice principal and three others. Leader of the vigilante group, who are still on alert, just like security operatives in the area, narrated what happened. A member called me on phone that they block Utulu Road by the secondary school. That they should mobilize vigilante to come. Police lead others inside the bush with vigilante. We started combing, following them. We pursued them till they released the principal of the school. There is palpable fear in the community as the people say such attack has never taken place there. But at the police headquarters in Asaba, the command public relations officer who confirmed the arrest of one of the armed men reassured residents of Isele Asaba that security have been beefed up in that area. The teacher that was shot in the process before they were taken into the forest was died. That um, one of the youth was missing. And so they had to go into the forest and the following day they saw his corpse. One person has so far been arrested, though he's saying he's a caturera. There's no need for apprehension or fear. The school has remained closed as the rescued principal, his vice and the teachers are still recovering from the shock and parents keep their children and wards at home. Ikenna Amechi, CVC News, Isila Sagba.